Hey, how you doing? Well, thanks for stopping by the studio. I wasn't here last week. I was on a vacation, but I'm back in the studio. I'm excited to get to work. And um, I've got a lot of frog tape. You, you've probably seen me use frog tape upstairs here in the studio and downstairs in the wood shop. Well, I sent frog tape an email with a few links to some of the videos where I've used it. And they sent me a, a whole box of frog tape. It's really great stuff, including this, which is called shape tape. This is new. And I used it to make this painting yesterday, uh, this water effect down here, and also this frame kind of a thing that's going on. And it's pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to make another painting today using frog tape. Uh, the, the main image, the Bikini Girl, this is from a, a series that I do. I've been making Bikini Girl paintings, really big ones, like as, maybe as bigger than this even, uh, for years. But now I'm making these. These are prints, I, I refer to them, and I make these with stencils. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to make another one of these today. Uh, I'll show you exactly how I make the painting and how I use the tape to make this water effect. And you probably know I give something away every Sunday from the studio. And so today I'll give away a roll of this new shape tape. Uh, but this only applies to the United States because uh, shipping becomes a real hassle when you're trying to ship things out. and It just isn't worth it. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I'll do is tape the stencil onto the paper I'm working on and I'm using a hot pressed paper which means it has a smooth surface. The first color I'm going to use is a flesh tone that I mixed up and this is an acrylic latex paint. It's designed for painting uh, a high gloss surface on metal and wood but I find that it works good on these prints and the gloss seems to disappear because the paper absorbs the paint. I'm using a foam roller to apply the paint. I like to use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. I'll use this new shape tape by Frog to make this water effect. And this tape is a little bit different in that it has a backing. I've measured up two and a quarter inches on both sides of the paper. And now I'll attach this piece of tape at both of those lines connecting them. And that way the image will be on the same part of the paper because these paintings often sell two and three at a time and they're hung as diptychs and triptychs. And for the sides of the image, I like to measure in two inches on each side. I've let the paint dry for about 15 or 20 minutes and now I'm going to paint a light blue behind the figure which will represent a sky and the first step is to use the shape tape again to put over this darker blue here that represents the water. To tape out these curved lines I'm going to cut the tape into thin strips and that will make the tape bendable. I've taken the thin strips of tape and wrapped them back onto the roll and now I can work from the roll and this will keep the adhesive intact and also keep the tape from getting tangled up. I've taped out the outline with the green tape and now I'll use the yellow tape to cover up anything that I don't want to be painted blue. The nice thing about this yellow tape is you can see through it because now I want to cut through the yellow tape carefully trying not to cut through the green tape and that will give me the outside line. I 
let the paint dry for about 10 minutes and this is always the fun part, removing the tape. Well, I had a lot of fun making this painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to know a little bit more about this week's giveaway, uh, it's this Shape Tape by Frog. You can go to my website, johnpeters.com, and click on giveaways. I hope you have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.